All right, y'all. I told y'all they got some alligators up in here. Look at that big bad boy there. Huh? I think he sees me. It's probably a good 50 footer. Now y'all don't know this, but I'm an alligator wrestler. I'm fixing to get all up on that old boy. I'm gonna sell him. Reach me love. Hey folks, it's Mike and Angel with Retro RV Recon. Good morning. We're coming to you today from this beautiful Palmetto Island State Park. Yeah, we're a few miles south of Abbeville, Louisiana. Way at the bottom of the boot in Louisiana. Yep. Hang around and we're going to do the campground drive through During the campground drive through we're going to share with you some of the things that we've done in our state here in the area, including a visit to Avery Island. Beautiful you don't want to miss that. That's really pretty. Yeah, and as usual, we're, gonna, we're also going to do the site walk around. Mm -hmm. We do this for every, every campground, campground, every site, every, every time. time. Here we go. Alright, here we are. Campground drive through Palmetto Island State Park. And when you pull into place, you're greeted by this humongous alligator. What's his name? I think uh, Cocodree Abbey. Co Cocodree Abbey. Abigator. Abigator. Cocodree Abigator. Yeah. More about him later. <laughs> or her. Yeah. That's the biggest alligator I've seen in my life. Yeah, that's got to be one of them big old prehistorical ones. <laughs> Right, they do like the gate at night. Yeah, they give you a code. code. Yeah, they give you a code on the back of your uh, Look at this beautiful sleep. entrance. It reminds me of Tickball State Park, right, babe? Yeah, it yeah, it bit. does. It's another Louisiana State Park. Of course, there's bear warnings for yeah. black bear. Don't, yeah, report them if you see them. Which I think is important. Yeah. Mostly just don't leave the ice chest outside, yeah. right? Because you can't see There are palmettos all over the place out there. And they are so beautiful. Yeah. I don't know who they contracted to plant all these palmettos <laughs> out here. But I guess if you're going to call this place, I'm glad they didn't call it like Palm Tree Island. They have to plant palm trees all over the place. Alright, I'm joking. I like palmettos better. And <laughs> they are a native uh, plant. Yes, they are. So we do that especially. Alright, here we go. Campground drive through. All right, so to the left is site number one, which right now is occupied by the host. This campground has 96 campsites and only 19 are sewer hookups. Yep. And I'll put those on the screen for you so that you'll know all the sewer sites. And there's site number two on the left, and the first one on the right side is site number three. And they're so pretty. Look how they're just tucked in. All of these sites, um, they're they're pretty close well they're, they're all pretty much the same uh, they're all really nice they have a, a little bit of a barrier between sites so you have some privacy mm -hmm. no matter what the greenery is really yeah. pretty between sites the palmettos of course yeah hard to see the signs the site sign so I think this white truck with the cougar is right there so it must not be nine let's see be 11 I'll tell you where the cougar is is site number 10 10 okay there we go now we're on track and of course 11 and 12 right there look how pretty that is yeah baby. They're deep sides. Yeah. Their back end should go way to the back where the palmettos are. Site 13 on the right. We just passed up that Silverado. You get a good shot. If, if you look at the map, which will we'll, uh, we'll give you some information on the map. 
1409. The uh, the map is really close to the way the place is laid out. Mm -hmm. With well, the the map that we're going to share with you. Yes. <clears throat> 16 is pretty. Look at all that space back there. Yep. For the kids to 16, play. Oh yeah, 16 is a good that one. That is really nice. Lots of grass growing. 16. 16 is um, water and electric only. Number 18 has lots of privacy. Yep. What's this right here with this 19 bullet? 19 is empty, so that must be 20. Yeah, 20, 21. 21. 21 with, with that bullet. That's a Another nice, nice side. Side. Oh, oh yeah, my that's goodness, a good they spot. got lots of space. Mm -hmm. 22 on the left, and with that white Ram, Ram 2500. We're in the club, buddy. Oh, baby, look at this one. What was this one? Man. We're gonna do that the whole drive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really tell you, pretty. we're gonna do that the whole drive. All of these sites are really. We pretty. do need to say that today is Sunday, and it's right yes. before checkout, so that's why most of these are empty. But the campground was full during our stay here, right? It yeah, it was very full. Way more people than what you're seeing here. It's a beautiful campground. It was full. It was quiet. It was mm. family oriented. Oh, it was so nice. Yeah, it was very very nice. Twenty eight is a nice side. But um. You know, a lot of the videos we, we watched before we came here. Look at this green space back. Oh my goodness, what a Site 30. Wow. Site 30 has a nice big space. Site 30 is big and it's got a sewer connection along mm -hmm. with water and electric. So if you're thinking about 30, 30's the one. 30's a real good one. It looks like a pipeline is inside <clears throat> it. So yeah, we saw some videos of this place and um, couldn't quite tell you couldn't quite tell from the videos how nice this place is mm -hmm. it's a whole lot nicer than you're looking at oh yeah it's a whole lot nicer we were very pleasantly surprised with the entire layout of the state park but especially the campground yeah. because there is privacy between the sites and the greenery everywhere And it's a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a bathhouse right there. Okay. And the bathhouses are are super clean. Screened in porches. Yeah, and laundry, laundry rooms. Room. They're two, heated, air conditioned. Yeah, two washers, two dryers. That white truck right there is site 46. 46. And this little section is a, uh, it's two way. You go, there's a little cul de sac to you. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's, uh, it's hard to find the, uh, <clears throat> we'd have to point out the, all right, the solitude. All right, let's talk about that solitude. Yeah. That solitude is in sight 55. 55. Here's a red Ford. Is that our friends? That's a Crusader. No, they were in 56. Yeah, those are the Crusaders. Yeah, from Wisconsin. Chris and, um, Don. Chris and Don. 58 was nice because yes. I think it's one of the last ones out here. Yes, there's no neighbor on one side. But still, it's a huge slide. Very private. So, Michael. Yes, my love. What was our first stop on this trip this weekend? Our first stop? Our first stop was... Uh, we kind of set the tone for this whole trip that we're on right now. Cajun Village, baby. <laughs> Cajun Village in... Where in was Sorrento. that? Sorrento, Louisiana. Cajun yeah, our first stop. We had a nice breakfast there. And uh, it was a great first stop for this, this Louisiana weekend that we had down yep. in... Uh, South Louisiana, yeah, Cajun we, country. Cajun Village in Sorrento is a nice place. It's not far off of Interstate 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My belly is full. We're gonna no. go. We're gonna go down the bottom. Yeah.
Where you at? Live in Louisiana. Where you at, Boudreaux? Ay! Look at that sugar cane. So I cut the grass at the house. What? That's how I cut my grass. <laughs> Get behind the backyard by the ditch, by the volume. <laughs> Check it out. It, it's really cool. Shows you a little bit of a uh, of Louisiana Cajun background and culture, which the we food love. Is really good. All right. The first site we're going to come up on in this direction on the right side is going to be 57. And it runs down to three on the right side. I'll put the numbers on the screen okay, to help you yeah, out. Yeah. You know, every time we turn in a video, I like to put that section. Yeah. Of um, campsite. So yeah, that's yeah, the board. That's, that's uh, that's Don and and Chris. I think that's Don and Chris. I'm sitting there. Their bikes out there. They're yeah, just that's enjoying them. the day. Man. Really nice people. Yeah. They said they watch our channel. Yeah, they come over to say hi. It was, it was, it was nice. They it stayed. Was really nice. Yeah, they stayed for about 15, 20 minutes. And you know, now that we're on that, let's just say it's okay to approach us, right, Michael? Yeah, come on by. Come on, come by and say hi. We like to hear from our subscribers and um, more than likely we'll be by the fire. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Forty-three is where that little cluster of vehicles were. Mm -hmm. And then of course the restroom. And the restroom. Cute little playground area right here. A right hand turn and go to the other section. Yeah, this is barely, this is actually the one that we're on, right, baby? Yep, that's correct. So after we left the Cajun Village, we crossed over to Sunshine Bridge in Convent, Louisiana. Yeah. And, you know, the Mississippi River yeah, Bridge. The Mississippi River, yeah. Okay. Old bridge. I felt like after we had breakfast at the Cajun Village, that started our little it did excursion it started the theme yeah yeah <laughs> south louisiana weekend camping cajun country that's right crawfish a toupee oh, i could have got my hands on some crawfish bits this weekend there's still time baby man i'm gonna talk to my mama let's start with that ram 1500 a site this looks like 60. Oh, here's another campground house at 59. Okay, yeah, so 60 is also a sewer site connection, a sewer connection site. Yeah, just again, I'm going to list all those for you. I'll put them in text so you can see them, which ones are sewer sites. Even this on, like we said earlier, this they're spaced out really nice, and the palmettos really give you some privacy. Mm -hmm. These look like they might be long-term campers. You'll see in the site walk around that the you know it, it really feels feels really private man look at these sites oh this is nice look at this different. that is so pretty site 65, 65. oh god it's a standard site no sewer connection it man a, it's on the coldest side but look how pretty that is i think i'd like that one i think or I might even like this 66 way 66 is another kind of nice one in there yeah, check that out. That is really nice. 66 also. Nice no, big site too. No sewer connection. 67 is another nice. Man, it's whole cul-de-sac. You, mm -hmm. you can't go. These are really nice. Spaced out. You can't. Oh, look at the size of that. That one looks like it has a trail connecting to it. It sure too. does. 67. You really nice. can't go wrong with any site out here. Mm -hmm. If you're like, oh, man, we can't pick any of the ones Mike and Angel suggested. I, I really <laughs> tell you you're going to go wrong. Yeah. You won't go wrong. Yeah. Uh, just you know look at the map and, and 69 oh pretty if you have to have sewer connections you look at the map if you need um i'm gonna list them they can choose from the ones i list look at 70 where the catalina is 
if you need handicap accessible sites, uh, they're marked on the map too, and they have a lot of them. And this this whole campground is uh, handicap um, friendly. The tra even the trails are hard packed gravel, so if you had a, if you're in a wheelchair, you could go down the trails. And they're level. They're all strollers. Flat. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. all flat. So that you want to talk about um, that Highway 90 on the way here? Oh man. We took the back roads because you know we like to we like to travel. And we crossed the a journey. lot of bayous. Yeah, we on crossed the way a here. whole bunch of them bayous. Ba down there. Bayous. With the bayou bayous. <laughs> Highway 90 is rough on a camper. Yeah. It, it was it was rough. Then we had to pick up the seats off the floor. We're not camper. going back that way. No. We're home. And uh, we went through Pierre Park, and that drive wasn't so bad, uh, but the drive to it was bumpy as well. Yeah. But you know, that's just oh, look how at it that goes. pretty camper. Look at that pretty camper. Look at Do that. you see it? They got a retro right there. Look Check at that, that out. That must be where Mike and Angel are. <laughs> Yep. Prettiest campground, camp, prettiest camper in the whole campground, is that yep. what I always say? That's, that's what you say, 83 baby. was our spot. 83. We oh, you know what we haven't talked about? The tent pads. That's Some right. of these sites have tent pads, and ours just happen to be one of those. Yep, again, look on the map. If you see a little tent on the uh, the site, you get there's a tent pad mm -hmm. in the back. It's got sand on it. You mm -hmm. can set up a tent and everything. Mm -hmm. So there's tent camping here as well as RVing. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's trails, walk, walking trails, nature trails around the perimeter of the um, the campground, and of course in the day use area. Mm, and right here, beautiful. we were on one of those trails in our opening, baby. Yep. On the right, yeah, I can't quite see it in the in the. Let me turn it in real quick. Right there's another um, bathhouse. Super clean, mm -hmm. man. It's just so yeah. impressive. Oh my gosh. It was so I even nice. went so far. Yeah, what, Angel and I stopped in to look for some stickers, which they don't have any here. But uh, we even complimented the the folks working there how nice and clean this whole campground is. It really is. It's very well maintained. You know, and we're Louisianians, right, baby? It makes us have a sense of pride to see um, state parks like this yeah. that are so well taken care of, and yeah. we love showing them off. All the way to the other end of the um, to the top section of the state Claiborne, and we went to a couple weeks back. Mm -hmm. That was nice. That's right at the impressive. Top of the boot. Now we're down here at the bottom yeah. of the boot. <laughs> so we've been to some nice campgrounds, and I'm glad to say that Louisiana is right up there with them. Yes. In fact, we have us a good playlist going now on Louisiana campgrounds, yeah, we do. don't we, babe? We do. Oh, 94 on the right. The reflection, the guy picking up, that reflection yeah. was in sight. 96. 96. Mm -hmm. What else did we do over here, Michael, over here? We, we went to Abbeville. We went to Abbey, Abbeville. Is so pretty. It's a nice yep. little old town. And that's where we saw the steam syrup originated in Abbeville. What else do they have over here near this campground, near the state park? We went to Avery Island. Avery Island, less than an hour from here, right? Less than an hour. Yeah. Tabasco. Tabasco hot sauce. That's right. And what an experience that was. Down in Louisiana, where the tall, tall pine trees grow. Okay, so we we had we went to the museum. We had a real good lunch over there at yep. the eighteen. What was the name of that cafe? Eighteen sixty-eight. Eighteen 
1968, but the food's a lot fresher than that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. We actually did the um the sampling where we had the oh the, the appetizer little, sampling. Yes, yeah, we highly cool. recommend that. It had shrimp etouffee. Uh, sausage and chicken gumbo yeah. and red beans red and beans, rice. Red beans and rice. A, a three sample plate. It was so good. And then we had the um, shrimp oh boy. Which yeah, we had a shrimp. So we, we split can, one shrimp yeah. oh boy. Well, it was more than enough. For yeah. One, so with the sampler food. appetizer mm -hmm. and the, the the split shrimp oh boy, that was more than enough for each one. Yeah, it was so good. To the stove. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to the stove. You hear the music? Yep. go see Avery Island, yeah, the, the Tabasco, drive. Jungle Gardens, that was all, and we had, like we said, we had a real nice lunch over there too, yeah. and the museum was pretty impressive, and it's a self-guided tour, so it is. you go it, at your own It was pace. very fun, it was real mm -hmm. fun. So this is, this is the day use area. The Vermilion River. Yeah, there's right. behind those palmettos, you'll see the uh, Vermilion River. Yes, and it's a big river, too. I was surprised by that. I don't remember yeah. seeing any footage of the river with the state park. Did you, Michael? Nope, none. Mm -hmm. Now, if you notice, they got the, uh, the, the picnic table, the little barbecue pit, and there's a little pathway that goes to the Vermilion River. So man, it's just, it's it's really ideal. And let's see, you have one, two, three, four, five, look like six, six sites that you can set up and have a picnic out here. Mm -hmm. A barbecue, the tables. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a nice, it's a huge river. I can't yeah. believe it was that. I'm like, wow, I never knew this was back here. No one ever showed that part off, did they? Yeah, it's a huge parking lot. And uh, right at the end of this parking lot is a boat launch. So I mentioned that this place was handicap accessible mm -hmm. friendly and look at this look, right here you have a, a little pad mm -hmm. you could park and take if you if you have a wheelchair or you need some assistance there's um, another pavilion right here mm -hmm. that overlooks the lake overlooks the river I mean the aquatic pavilion. Yeah. There are restrooms up there and a little deck and even a walkway that goes out yeah. over the water. We did that one yesterday. Yeah. It was really nice. Pretty views from up there. And here's your boat launch straight ahead. Mm -hmm. No parking on the grass. Don't feed the alligators. There's some kayakers through there. You see them? Sure enough. This is a nice big parking lot too. So huge area for day use areas. Day use picnicking and boat. Are we going to show off the uh, cabins? Well, we can do that if you want. Why not? Nice. Why not? We got the footage. We got the camera. Rolling. We're here. So I don't know the name of this little river is right here, but it um, uh, you can you can definitely do some kayaking in that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would like to kayak with the alligators, but I don't think it'd be I think bad. Kayaks are too close to the water for me. Well, I'd maybe not a kayak. I'd, right. Uh, I'd be freaking out. So down this way are the cabins. I think there are six cabins, and four of the six are right on the water's edge. Oh yeah, they're so pretty. You just know they have a beautiful view of the river. Yep. Straight ahead is just like a little cul-de-sac. We're not even going to go down there. It's so boring. They'll probably have cabins down there one day. Yeah, I would probably think. so. That's what I would think. 
way they do up this, this campground. Even these rows that are packed travel are well maintained. You can just tell yep. they put a lot of work in to keep them. Yeah, they spend time really in, nice. on maintenance. Mm -hmm. These two on the right are not on the water, right, baby? Correct. That's the only two that are not on Correct. the river. Cabin one and two are not on the river. They're, but, but they're tucked back in the woods and it's really pretty. And again, wheelchair accessible on yep. all. So straight ahead you see, it looks like cabin three, three and four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three and four. There's they're a on the walk going out to yep. the cabins. Handicap accessible, mm -hmm. five and six, just five right there, and then you got six coming into but view. look at that river view. Can you see that? Oh I can. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Folks, y'all just going to have to come cabin out here and get one. five and cabin six for sure. You have to come you out here and get it. We can't show view. you everything. You can't live vicariously through us. You're going to have to come out here and enjoy life. You cannot go wrong with the state park. No, you can't Day go wrong. Day use, cabins, camping, it's all. Excursions. Oh, yeah. yes. Just, yes. Yeah, and even if you want crawfish, have some crawfish call, uh, forums right down the road. Oh yeah, on the way here. Yep. That first big turn that we did. Um, yep. That whole what was that road lined with crawfish farms? Yep. They would. This old boy was planting some crawfish when we passed by. Mm -hmm. Planting crawfish. <laughs> I saw the little tail sticking up out the mud. He was checking the net. Crawfish. Is that how you say it? Crawfish. You have to finish the words. Crawfish. 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 And then after that, you can say all of them. All of them. <laughs> oh, look at that red dodge. Look at that red ram up there. I've been loving them. Look, it's on a red boat. got some good The taste. boat. See the boat? Let's see the boat. Oh, he's getting the crawfish That's right the crawfish. there. That's right there. Crawfish, baby. Why is there a helicopter airport in here? Probably where they moved. Full-time base. Oh, okay. Out to the Oryx. Yeah. We own the Gulf. Look at a house in the distance, baby. How pretty that is. Right on the back side of them crawfish. You think they ever get tired of eating crawfish? Here we yeah. go. Palmetto State Park. And the U.S. Coast Guard. That ought to tell you how close we are Turn to the left, Gulf. Louisiana Highway 690. Here we go. Very impressive, though. It was cool to watch how they do it because uh, mm -hmm. they have a flat boat and the flat boat doesn't have a motor on it. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you've never seen it, I'll go ahead and tell you real quick. So it looks like a it looks like a lake, but it's not a lake. It's only a few inches deep, mm -hmm. and they have a flat boat that goes on top of it. And instead of having a motor on the back to uh, to get you through the water, they have these. Uh, this little system set up so that it grabs you stick it down and it rotates like a wheel and it's got these um, spikes on the end of it and it walks you through the mud and that's how they go from trap to trap it was the I coolest thing that. I had never in my but life cool saw that, that before yeah so you don't you don't motorboat through the crawfish farm you get on a like boat a tiller, huh? yeah and you just kind of crawl this little device crawls you through it But anyway, I mean, one pond looked like it probably had six, seven hundred traps on it. And just acres and acres of it. It's really cool. So I had some crawfish, not this weekend, but last weekend. Yeah. It's so that we time of good. year. Yeah, we were good. This is March. You get them early, and they might be small, but they're easy to peel. You get them late, they're going to be big, but they're going to be tough to peel. Yeah, oh my goodness. Did we talk about the gator we saw in the Evangeline Pond? We walked from our We did not. We did not. We have some footage of it. Okay. Another gator. So I guess it's like three alligators we saw. We saw one at uh, Avery Island and one by Evangeline Pond. I think it's mama's around here somewhere. Hey, baby. Yeah. I think they got some alligators up in there. Yeah. Let's see. They do. See that alligator right out there? Remember what I told you. Don't feed the gators. They don't 
know the difference between what you're feeding them and what you're feeding them with. That's a little bitty fella. I bet he's got a big mom around somewhere. Little fella that's probably about maybe four, three, three feet, three and a half feet. That's a little baby one. But anyway, I knew if y'all hung out with me long enough, I was gonna get to show y'all a gator right here. And of course that big, Inside the park. Inside the park. And then there's a big uh, Cocodria Abigator. Yeah, the, at the entrance. At the entrance. Run, baby, run! I got him! <laughs> I got him, fool! Get out of here! Help! Don't so now we're going to... This is day use area. Vermilion River Drive is what this one's called. And uh, over here, there's a real nice area for day use. Uh, plenty parking, plenty enough, plenty of things for the kids to play around in. And the adults, they got. Here's where a lot of your trailheads start. This just, this was so amazing <clears throat> back here. I just. Wow, right? The splash pad, the splash pad alone. I've never seen such a huge splash pad. Yeah. Usually they're smaller in these state parks, but that one is huge. Yeah. And I, I do have some footage of that I can share. There's a nature center. Did you say that yet? No, I did not. Okay. Nature center, um, bath houses where you right. can change. <clears throat> the building right in front of us is the nature center. Of course, it's closed for the yeah. season, so we didn't get to go in there and see. Oh, but... a meeting room and nature's, mm -hmm. nature center. And right there is like a little rock climbing playground area. And on the back far side are some uh, slides and stuff for kids to play around on. This park is so big, is I mean, I, I, let me rephrase. This park has so much more than just camping. Yes, yes. Lots of things for families to do with yes. children. And I was gonna say the splash pad, I was you know raving about the splash pad. It also has a um, shaded area to sit, a little yep. pavilion area, so you don't have to be in full sun the whole time. Yep, so there's the little so playground. Really cool. That building straight ahead is a uh, bathhouse. Mm -hmm. When I say bathhouse, you cannot shower in there. Mm -hmm. There are change rooms for the splash pad mm -hmm. and changing stalls. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and, bath and bathroom area. Restrooms. Yeah. Yeah, you cannot shower in there. There are no shower okay. connections. And over here is a trail. Oh, yeah. well, these are the pavilions. Well, you got a pavilion right here. Pavilion number two. They're so nice. The pavilions. Mm -hmm. Next, in, next coming in is Pavilion Number One, but that's also a, a, a trailhead. That's where we did our opening on that trail. That's right. right? That's right. You can see how pretty that is with the palmettos, and there is a boardwalk back there. Yep, there's a really pretty boardwalk. It goes kind of in a little swampy area yeah. where it's full of irises. The, of course, they uh, weren't in bloom yet, but there's a boardwalk to a decked area, and it has it has handrails. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing is uh, handicap accessible. Oh yeah, it's really nice. And it's right slap dab in the middle of a big, uh, a big grove of uh, cypress trees. Oh yeah, cypress trees. Yeah, and the knees jumped up. And the iris is everywhere. We're gonna have to come back when the irises are blue because those yeah. are gorgeous.
many different know, varieties. Now we know which spot we can get. Yeah. This will be another campground for us to come to and spend a couple of couple of good days here. Yeah. And maybe like three full days. There was one more thing that we didn't mention about um, Avery Island. The the jungle gardens. Oh yeah. Michael. Oh my gosh, we saw a gator over there. We did see an alligator. But how about those trees, the live oak trees with the Spanish moss? have ever been to Avery Island if you don't come to this campground and you have an opportunity to go to Avery Island go ahead and do that it's yes. 12 I think it was a $12 for the, for yes. the two of us it covered everything though it covered yeah. the museum the uh, factory itself where you got to see how they bottle what well, how they make Tabasco and bottle it you got yeah. access to all of that stuff in addition to the drive-through gardens which to me was just breathtaking right and Remember, Azalea's drive swimming. through. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to get out of your vehicle, but it's 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 a big, long uh, section to drive through, and yeah. just massive. It's unbelievable. Massive tree camellias, azaleas, um, live oak trees. It was just beautiful. It's uh, it looks so like a storybook. It does. It's just well. That to me was well worth the twelve bucks. Just to stay in your yeah. vehicle driving through that garden. Yeah. That was, There's a bird sanctuary out there. Oh my gosh, the bird sanctuary. How about that? That was impressive. Yeah, that was impressive. You didn't even have to get out your vehicle to see no, it. You just did. sit there and watch the birds nesting. Yeah. It was massive. And uh, for, for those of you who like stickers and shirts, we got some of those. There was, yeah, there was a gift shop over at the, by the What else we didn't talk about though? The um, Rip Van Winkle Gardens. The, yes. The, one of the park rangers suggested to us that we go there yes. after we go to Avery Island because it's a, uh, there was an actor. Yeah, Rip Van Winkle. Older folks remember Rip Van Winkle. Yeah, and the actor, I guess, who was in the movie Rip Van Winkle has a home here and developed the whole property into just beautiful gardens. And yes. What was most impressive to me, and I don't know if you'd agree, Michael, but the oak lined drive going up leading up to the home yeah it was long it was like an alley of oaks on both sides beautiful live oak trees and beautiful it was eye catching even, even from the main highway we kept wondering what is that you know yeah. the tree lined street but that's what that was it was the rip rip van winkle gardens and they had peacocks just roaming yeah, they roaming had, around they had the four, whole property four male peacocks oh and they were so what do they sound like Sound well, like cats. I know we got footage of that because I was laughing hysterically. <laughs> you were. I had to wind it you're down. You were getting them all worked up. Yeah. Michael was provoking the peacocks. I was teasing them and taunting them. Yeah, I got chickens. But they did. Man. They did sound like cats, though. They did. Yeah. Up next is the uh, site walk around. Site walk around. So stay tuned for that site. Right. Site eighty three. Eighty three. Here we go. All right, folks, site walk around, site 83. All right, let me give you a view from the road. There's a little to the left. I'm, oops. There's a little to the right. And there's to the left. On the other side, there, uh, what do you call that? Underbrush is the other campsite. It's pretty private, even though they're not close together, but it's real cool, real uh, private. I'm 
this particular site is about, uh, I guess the pads maybe, well, let's just say about 60 feet long, gravel, packed gravel. The picnic table has concrete. These palmettos give you a lot of privacy. The, um, and the pads themselves are relatively level, side to side, front and back. I don't have any complaints about it. I put the little bricks down because of the gravel. You got a little fire pit, concrete picnic table. The dog is not included. That's Jilly. Hey, Jilly. And in the back side, you see there's a tent area. So if you come over here, you can rent a tent. I mean, you can put up a tent. And this is the tent area for the campsite next to us. And that right there is an empty site. Those folks just moved out. <clears throat> All of these sites at Palmetto Island are the same, pretty, pretty, pretty close to the same as this. You see, you can't even see our neighbor's camper over there. It's nice. Here's the back side. You got a little stopper right there. Of course, I hugged it all the way over to the left side. It's um, it's oh, I guess late winter, early spring here. You have water and electrical hookups. I'm gonna show you the panel. This one shows a 20, 30, 280 amps, and a 50, and two 50s. I don't quite understand those 80s, but for this particular one, my plug wouldn't work unless I turned on the 80 amps. 30 amp didn't work at all, so I just figured I'd turn them all on. But it's clean, clean power. There you go, got a little foundation right here. really nice we are enjoying this little area there are trails all around this park you can walk on I think you can ride your bike on they're all packed gravel yep this one is a lot nicer than I expected it to be Folks, we do these uh, walk-arounds and drive-throughs for every campground we go to. We give you our opinion and show you some of the things around here. If you find value in these videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You'll get more of it. And you'll, uh, you'll help us to help other folks. I'll give you one last walk around here. Site 83. <clears throat> like I said, all of these sites look like they're pretty much the same. You know, as far as uh, having the room, privacy, and we mentioned the ones that have sewer connections. This one does not. No big deal. As you'll see or saw in the drive-through, the uh, the dump station's pretty convenient as well. All right, folks, happy trails and happy camping. Oh, here comes the fire truck, by the way. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't think you need a rescue. Look. <laughs> I can't not laugh. It's hilarious.
Wow, he doesn't want anything to do with you. He don't want no redneck Cajun. <laughs>